In this video, I'm gonna describe how my floral collages were inspired by me being accused of stealing someone else's work. My name is Roxy, I'm a full-time artist. I make oil paintings and big colorful work mostly figurative inspired by people and how they dress and how they look if you want to see more of my work check out my other videos this video is more of a story time and a creation video of the collages that i just released so in 2020 i made two different paintings based on a photographer's work they were floral paintings um, mixed media acrylic painting oil pastel whatever i don't paint photorealistically i, I can't even do that uh, so they were interpretation of someone else's work now currently i almost never use anyone else's photographs because it fits my style more to make my own photographs and make digital collages and use those as, re as reference. But for this instance, it was a couple of years ago, so I used someone else's uh, photographs as inspiration. Note the inspiration. <laughs> uh, I even tagged the artist uh, because I definitely feel you should name your inspiration. And fast forward to 2022, I wanted to release those two paintings as a limited print series. There were only 10 prints per artwork, so 20 in total, and I wanted to release them with uh, someone else that sells my prints. Now, what happened is that I named my original inspiration because I felt like that was the right thing to do, um, and what happened is that we had a falling out in uh, via DM on Instagram. Uh, there was no talking to that photographer. I did everything wrong. I was accused of stealing. Um, and basically uh, they backed me into a corner like, you need to take them down. And it was not a pleasant experience. <laughs> it was not just me. It was also the uh, woman that was selling my prints. She had like a back and forth via DM uh, as well. And basically it was just not very nice. The point she was trying to make is that I stole her copyright of the photos and that I couldn't make these paintings and that I couldn't release these paintings as commercial prints. Now, I understand copyright. I'm an artist myself. I wouldn't want anyone releasing prints that look exactly like my paintings. So, of course, I know a bit about copyright, so I thought, okay, maybe I did something wrong. So I thought, maybe this is a thing photographers are very careful about, or it's something that's very annoying that people, that artists use their photos as, as reference i don't know so i felt a bit bad about it because especially since i always credit someone else's work and i always mention inspiration or whatever and it just felt very attacking like i did something wrong and that wasn't a very nice experience so i had a really bad night the next day i felt like, okay, I can put things a bit more into perspective and I called a photographer friend just to ask, hey, is this a thing? Uh, I knew her work was stolen a lot. It was even stolen as the original photograph instead of an interpretation of a photograph. And I discussed it with her and she was like, no, don't put your energy in this, into this photographer because they're, they are putting their energy in the wrong places and it's not your fault. She saw the original photograph the, and the paintings and she was like, you know, this could even just be a coincidence. They are flowers on a background. It's, it's not a very, like, the photographs are nice. Honestly, I really like them. That's why I painted them. However, they're not super, super original. It's just flowers and especially the translation to the paintings, totally different. Of course, if you see them next to each other, they have kind of similar colors. The composition is different. They're the same flowers, but I mean, they're flowers. <laughs> It's not like you, uh, it's not like there was a face involved or something else that's very recognizable as something yeah. that's personally someone else's. Yeah. That conversation made me feel a lot better so I could 
get my bad evening behind me and look at the day with fresh eyes. Now, I did discuss with the person that was selling my prints, like, you know, these prints now have a bad aftertaste. It's not because I think I did something wrong. I didn't. But I do feel like there's something else to be done here. I discussed it with her. Like, I want to make a new series. I want to make collages. And, and that's what you see me doing here. So I made new work with the bad energy and the bad aftertaste of accusation. And yeah, they make me much happier. <laughs> I still like the original painting, I still like the original prints, but now they turn into something new and that's for me a lot worth a lot more. So so let's go a little bit into copyright. So let's say I painted their photograph and I painted it photorealistically. I used their composition, I used their colors, I used their lighting and then I released the, the painting. It would have been different. Copyright is a very difficult area because when is something inspirational, when is it a reference and when is it a copy? However, I do know that I don't make photorealistic work. I changed up the composition and I changed up the whole vibe basically of the image. So I know that I'm not in the wrong there. If you're interested in this kind of topic, you can just Google copyright artwork based on photograph and you see tons of articles. I'm not, I don't want to disrespect any photographers out there. Um, I know they are artists too. However, I don't think it's fair to accuse someone else of stealing your work when it's an interpretation of someone's work and it's a different interpretation of someone's work. Even though I now make my own reference photos, I still feel like it was so unfair and it's maybe different if I was selling my artworks for millions of euros or dollars and I would never credit the original photographer. That would be shitty. However, I don't. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Uh, and I do think that makes it a difference. Like it's different when you print, when you print a photograph on a Zara t-shirt and you don't get paid or when, uh, than when you release a limited print series of 10 prints. Since it's such a weird area, I definitely think they were wrong about accusing me. Now, uh, I am definitely not a legal consultant. <laughs> I do know a little bit about copyright because, well, it's, it's a bit of my work, of course. There's copyright on, any, on anything that you make, you don't have to ask for copyright, it's yours if you make it. So don't go stealing someone's work because... So anyway, back to the collages. I started making them and I realized... Originally I wanted to make two, but I started to realize there was much more material uh, than for just two collages. And if I made more, I could make them more accessibly priced and actually release them to more people. So instead of two, I made nine. <laughs> They took me a long time actually because I was kind of in a rut and honestly like the accusing part like it was kind of hard I felt really attacked um, especially since it was since it felt so unfair and there was just no way I could talk to that person because they tried to like back me in a corner and I don't know it's um the first two were done really quickly, but then the other seven took a bit longer and I really had to find the time and the motivation for them. However, once it got started with everything, of course, it felt like so nice and it was done so fast. Yeah, they're like a lot different from my usual work, but I do think that they really represent me but in a different medium. So so if you watch to the end of the video, just remember to just always direct your energies to something positive instead of the negative. Even if it's something as shitty as this, just go for something new, create something new, and it will definitely make you happier. So thanks for watching. If you like this, you can follow my other art vlogs and subscribe maybe like this video i give like a big this to the photographer that accused me of stealing bye bye <laughs>